What's up everyone, Full Animix here. So in terms of videos to do after the Kill a Kill video, which was talking about an anime that I enjoyed, I'm going to talk about an anime kind of controversial. Now in terms of anime to do that is controversial, there's a fair lot to be honest. There's SAO, which is something I always bring up. I'm going to make a video on SAO, right? I'm going to, and I'm going to shit on it, basically. But this is an anime that I recently just finished for some fucking reason and there's still a couple of things that I still have to watch and sorry if I my knowledge isn't up to date to the overall plot of the show I'm fucking sorry all right just don't at me but yeah basically today we're gonna be talking about Evangelion I really regret this on so many levels. So without further ado and without more procrastinating let's talk about Neon Genesis Evangelion Now you may, may be asking to yourself, um, you're you're making you're you're reviewing and making shit of a show that's known to be world-changing anime that have come out in the last 25 years, and it's it's known as the best mecha anime show. Is that really what it is? And that's the thing that I kind of don't really understand about Evangelion. Is it a mecha show, or is it a psychological drama where you really want to cry to sleep? I'm going with my last one. Because I think the overall feel of the show is that it's meant to elucidate the fact that it's supposed to be a mecha show, and it's supposed to be action-packed, and shit's supposed to go everyone's way. It really doesn't. And I think the whole point of the show is to be a very traumatic experience for kids basically going into mechas and fighting angels. And it's just, it, it's fucked up to be honest. And the characters go through some shit, all right? The last two episodes are just helping the characters overcome their troubles basically. And it's, it, I honestly couldn't care less. <laughs> now from here on out, I suggest that you watch the show because I'm basically just gonna ran ramble some shit that you will not understand, no matter how hard you try. But at the same time, I'm telling you to not watch the show, so I don't know what to say, basically. Just the fact that if you feel confused, just write down in the comment section, I was confused about so-and-so. Thank you. So without further ado, let's talk about the characters. Yes, I'm skipping over the plot because that's just gonna take up the whole chunk of the video. The characters in this anime I could not care less about. I'm gonna skip Shinji because I'm just gonna shit on him basically and gonna start with Asuka. Asuka is not relatable at all. She's supposed to be the Sundere character in the show and she definitely succeeds at the role, but she isn't redeemable at all. The whole role of a Sundere is to elucidate the fact that she has a really tough attitude, but she has a softball on the inside. She doesn't have any soft spot at all. <laughs> she just wants to fuck around with everyone, to be honest, and it she she doesn't really seem redeemable. I do have to admit, in the movies, she is a bit of a badass, and she kind of takes a real flip in her personality. And I still don't like her. <laughs> and, you know, she, the show could have done without her, to be honest. She's just meant to be someone that we recognize, basically. <laughs> and that's what I felt when I saw her in the movies. Like, I was just like... I know that girl. All right, next we have to talk about Ray. Wasted potential, basically. Now, Ray was supposed to be the interesting character, as I presume, and I was fairly interested in Neon Genesis, and I wanted to see what her whole deal is, but I basically automatically knew that she was a clone, basically. This is a spoiler, all right, but I'm just genuinely saying that if you watch the show, you would understand and know everything. I'm sorry. The fact that the reveal of Ray being a clone coming around at the end of the show, I'm like, did anyone else also know this? <laughs> Cause I, I knew it from like episode seven or something. I don't, I don't know what other people are thinking, but I automatically knew like when she got blown up and stuff, like she fucked. <laughs> and then the whole, I, the whole reveal of Ray being a spinning image of Yui, who is <laughs> Shinji's mom. Fam, what the fuck? 
And that brings me over to Shinji's dad. What are your plans, sir? I think the whole plot point of Shinji's dad being a dick and having very twisted goals. What? <laughs> okay, basically the whole point of Shinji's dad is that he wants to resurrect Yui, who's in Evangelion 1. His goal is just completely changed between Neon Genesis and the movies. In Neon Genesis, he tries to create the second impact, he fails, and then in the movies, he tries to create the third impact, or the fourth one, I don't fucking care, and it fails again. Like, don't you understand that it doesn't work? <laughs> And, and to this day, I don't. I think he's still trying. Finally, we have to talk about Shinji. And yes, I skipped a bunch of characters, but to be honest, they're kind of forgettable and they don't change at all throughout the entire show. All right, so Shinji is supposed to be the relatable, scared, shy character, all right? He doesn't want to get in the mecha anime, majiggy uh, xylophone thing, and that's basically his whole personality, basically. He whines to his dad saying, I don't want to get and then his dad goes like, you must go in the Evangelion. And then he goes in the Evangelion. And then he beats the angels and that's basically what happens for most of the show. And Shinji is the whole reason why I do not like Evangelion. Well, he's one of the reasons. He is the most unrelatable character, unrelatable protagonist that I've ever witnessed in a show, to be honest. I fucking cannot connect with him in any way. In the start of the show, he doesn't want to get in the Evangelion. Which is fine, I would, if I was 14 years old and I was forced to get in a giant mecha robot with your mum inside, I would go like, no. <laughs> and then in the movies, he wants to get in the mecha because he wants to save everyone. And I'm like, why couldn't you do that 14 years ago? <laughs> and here comes the major point of why I don't like this show. The whole plot is fucking dumb. <laughs> And to give you a whole synopsis of the plot, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play a clip that just explains it, to be honest, because I cannot be stuffed in explaining it. Our star is Shinji Ikari, a 14-year-old league player who's forced to pilot mechs in order to defeat the angels, giant beings from outer space, which are actually derived from an extremely advanced alien civilization, civilization that's responsible for the ancestral race actually originated from, originate so from Adam Lilith. Adam was sent to Earth Adam with Sibley came from the black world. world. Anyway, the only on time we see Lilith is underground the blast they function as giant egg and the transportation device where Shinji's dad wants to get rid of the spirit Rather than being a prophecy, it's actually an instruction manual made by the spirit of Longinus. This is all actually foretold in the seeds of life inactive in the event. Was that clip a joke? Yes. Did you enjoy it? Yes. Did it make sense? Fuck no. And that seems to be the whole theme of the show of you not knowing what the fuck is going on. But in terms of actual what's the plot, I kind of get the gist of it. So basically the Evangelions are Adam, but they're different. And the Angels are the Evangelions, but they're different. And Lilith is Adam, but different. You can kind of see where this is going. The Spear of Lasagna, just basically beats everything to be honest it's like the it's like the secret sword like king arthur rises up and stuff it's like the sacred sword or whatever it's like the ring from lord of the rings it's that that special item that just wins against everything you know and that's the show <laughs> and to be honest i'm actually still intrigued about this show i am gonna watch the movie that's gonna come out because i I want some sort of development from anyone. I want something from Asuka. I want something from Rei. I don't want anything from Shinji because he's fucking unsavable. This man was brainwashed or manipulated to do the third impact because he could save everyone. Now, in terms of things that I liked about the show, there's literally only two things. I gotta say that the mecha fights are freaking lit and the design of them are pretty cool as well. There's, the fights are very interesting and they're all kind of different, but also not different at the same time. And the OP to the show is, whew, it's probably more recognizable than any other anime OP that I've ever watched other than Attack on Titan. So yeah, I think that's, the, that's, that's my overall synopsis of Neon Genesis Evangelion. Um, my final thoughts on the anime, as you could say, for the love of God, save yourself and not watch it. Unless you want to be, like, confused and stuff, because I think the whole point of the show is supposed to be this mystery where you're supposed to figure it out. I don't like shows where I have to put in effort to find out what the fuck's going on. In the whole show, in the, in the whole show, the whole idea of Adam and Lilith, and the Dark Moon, and the Light Moon, and the Dead Sea Scrolls, they're mentioned a total of five times. 
or eight times in between that, ten under ten times. And you're supposed to go like, you're supposed to figure it out for yourself, you fuck stick. Do I look like this person that wants to find out what the hell's going on? Like, I just want to show where there's a good mystery, where everything's revealed at the end of the show, and it makes sense, and it's not stupid. And you know how hard it is? It's pretty fucking hard. But yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later.